Hi there, this is Dr. Jenny Yoon. Today we're going to start our discussion about vitamins. Vitamins are an important component of healthy living. Vitamins are essential chemicals which ensure that our bodies function properly. Without adequate supply of these vitamins, we can encounter serious health issues. Even though we all try our best to eat healthy foods, studies have shown that many of us don't get all the nutrients we need from diet alone. Taking a multivitamin is one way. Taking individual vitamins is another way to supplement our diet. So what vitamins do we need? Let's start with vitamin A. Vitamin A is a generic term that we use for a large number of related compounds that include retinol, retinoids, and carotenoids. Vitamin A is considered as an antioxidant. Antioxidants are important in neutralizing free radicals that can damage our bodies. These antioxidants are also believed to boost the immune system, play a role in anti-aging process, and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Studies suggest that vitamin A may decrease breast cancer risk. Vitamin A, especially retinol, is important for vision. Retinol in the blood accumulates and is stored in the retina or the back part of your eye. When needed, our body converts this retinol into usable compounds that are needed by the cells in the retina. These compounds are important for night vision. Inadequate supply of retinol uh, can lead to night blindness. Vitamin A is also important in development of white blood cells, which are cells that play critical roles in fighting infection. The skin and the cells that line the airways, digestive tract, and urinary tract function and act as a barrier and form our body's first line of defense against infection. Vitamin A is required to maintain the integrity and function of these cells. Therefore, vitamin A plays an important role in fighting infection. During pregnancy, vitamin A plays an important role in development of limbs, the heart, eyes, and the ears in the baby. Vitamin A deficiency can lead to defects involving these structures. Vitamin A also influences mobilization of iron from storage sites in our bodies. Iron, as you know, is an important component of red cells' ability to carry oxygen. Therefore, vitamin A's role in iron storage and mobilization is important in making sure that these red cells develop normally. Vitamin A is found in foods from animal sources. Plants contain carotenoids, some of which are precursors for vitamin A. Yellow and orange vegetables contain significant quantities of carotenoids. The following foods contain vitamin A. These include cod liver oil, fortified breakfast cereals, eggs, milk, sweet potato, pumpkin, carrots, cantaloupe, mango, spinach, broccoli, kale, collard greens, and butternut squash, among others. Vitamin A obtained from vitamin supplements is rapidly absorbed and slowly clear from the body. Therefore, toxicity from vitamin A may result acutely from high dose exposure over a short period of time or chronically from a much lower intake over a long period of time. Symptoms of vitamin A toxicity include nausea, headache, fatigue, loss of appetite, dizziness, dry skin, peeling of skin, um, headaches, and brain swelling, which in, uh, occurs in severe cases, and you may also get bone and joint pain. Symptoms of vitamin A toxicity in infants include bulging fontanelles, Severe cases of vitamin A toxicity can result in chronic uh, and permanent liver damage, bleeding, and coma. Although normal fetal development requires sufficient vitamin A intake, consumption of too much during pregnancy may cause birth defects. 
Pregnant women, therefore, should avoid multivitamin or prenatal supplements that contain more than 1,500 micrograms of vitamin A. Accutane, which as you know, is a synthetic uh, derivative of retinol used for acne treatment. This can cause serious birth defects and therefore should not be taken during pregnancy or if there's a possibility of becoming pregnant. Retin-A, which is another vitamin A product used as a skin cream, it can be absorbed into the bloodstream. Therefore, its use during pregnancy is not recommended. So in summary, vitamin A is found in animal and plant sources. It's an antioxidant. It's important for our vision and protecting against infection. During pregnancy, vitamin A is important for avoiding birth defects. Vitamin A is best consumed in the form of foods to avoid toxicity. If you're taking supplements, make sure you follow daily recommended guidelines to avoid toxicity. This is Dr. Jenny Yoon. See you next time. Mm -hmm.